What are master plan communities in the Las Vegas Valley? That's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and obviously subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, a lot of people ask me, what is a master plan community? And the Las Vegas area, including Henderson and North Las Vegas, have a ton of master plan communities. So I thought it'd be helpful to explain what a master plan community is and kind of briefly go over all the master plan communities here in the Las Vegas Valley. So a master plan community is a community with many neighborhoods in every price point, from starter home to expensive estates. Prices will vary depending on how elaborate that master plan community is. Before any dirt is ever removed, everything is predetermined. Once everything is planned, all the legalities is handled. Builders are selected who will ultimately purchase the land and the rights to sell in that community. Due to the cost of land, the vast majority of the homes are two-story homes. And most areas will have a neighborhood with just single-story homes, or some of the builders will have a couple of two-story options and maybe one single-story option. And at the same time, all the landscaping is meticulously maintained and beautified. There are architectural guidelines and color schemes that tie every neighborhood together. Each master plan community will have a design criteria specified by the developer that the neighborhoods must comply with. The Las Vegas Valley is filled with a little over 75 master plan communities for residents that long for a suburban lifestyle. Master Plan Communities offers distinguished amenities and conveniences to residents who take pride in their home, lifestyle, and neighborhood. While some established communities like Summerlin have been around for decades, and others are just new on the scene, but still making the top selling list. Because of their sheer size, Master Plan Communities can incorporate recreational amenities like man-made lakes, professional golf courses, expansive parks and green spaces, hiking and jogging trails, as well as bike paths and beautiful parks. In Las Vegas, master plan developments are created with a coalition of different builders. The variety of designs and styles among the home builders promise a unique neighborhood concept. Home buyers may choose a variety of floor plans, lot sizes, landscaping amenities, home styles, and pricing throughout each neighborhood. Of course, master plan communities aren't for everyone. Homes within a master plan community tend to cost a little more than homes not in a master plan community. And also there will be monthly association fees, which we call HOA. If you want a lime green house and a purple door, then you'll want to look outside a master plan community. A lot of people think that master plan communities are not good and here in the Las Vegas Valley I think living in a master plan community is awesome and one of the reasons I think it's awesome is because it upholds the value of your home. If you go to any community across the valley that does not have a master association take a look at the neighborhood. Take a look at the neighbors and how they've maintained and took them pride in their home. It's not there. Most of the neighborhoods that do not have an HOA here in the Las Vegas Valley tend to be a little dumpy. So yes, there are pros and cons to having an HOA, but I think the biggest pro is because of maintaining the integrity of the neighborhood. And a lot of them do have restrictions. However, some, it's just, I mean, that's what you have to deal with when you live in an HOA. So as I mentioned, the Las Vegas Valley, including Henderson, has over 75 master plan communities. And obviously we know the largest master plan community in the Las Vegas Valley is Summerlin. Okay, so I'm gonna go over briefly the master plan communities in each quadrants of the valley, like the Northwest, Southwest, uh, Henderson, etc. 
So in the Northwest, the master plan communities we have is Altamira, Canyon Gate, Centennial Hills, Elkhorn Ranch, Elkhorn Springs, Iron Mountain Ranch, Los Prados, Lynbrook, Montecito, Painted Desert, um, Providence, Silverstone Ranch, Sky Canyon, Spring Mountain Ranch, and Town Center. Then when we go to the Southwest, we have Arlington Ranch, Canyon Estates, Coronado Ranch, Highlands Ranch, Mountain's Edge, Nevada Trails, Rhodes Ranch, Silverado Ranch, um, Southern Highlands, Southern Terrace, Southwest Ranch, and Spanish Hills Estate. Lots of ranches in there. <laughs> Didn't realize that until I was doing this video. Then we got the East Side and Central Las Vegas, and most of these are the more older communities. You have Desert Inn Country Club, Las Vegas Country Club, McNeil Estates, Rancho Circle, Scotch 80s, Silver Springs, Spanish Oaks, Spanish Trails, and Stallion Mountain. And then on the west side, we have Desert Shores, The Lakes, Summerlin, Lone Mountain, Macaulay Ranch, North Shores, Queens Ridge, Shadow Hills, South Shores, and Woodcrest. Then in North Las Vegas, we have um, Aliante, Ardiante, Craig Ranch, El Dorado, Mesa Verde, North Ranch, Sun City Aliante, and Valley Vista with more master plan communities coming. Um, these are only the ones that are probably more established and not the new construction communities that are on the verge of, of being out there. <laughs> and then now we have Henderson, which has a long list. We have Anthem, Anthem Country Club, Anthem Highlands, Ascaya, Black Mountain Vistas, Cadence, Calico Ridge, Foothills of McDonald Ranch, Green Valley, Green Valley Ranch, Inspirata, Lake Las Vegas, Legacy, McDonald Highlands, McDonald Ranch, Madre Canyon, Mission Hills, Paradise Hills, Roma Hills, Seven Hills, Solera, um, South Valley Ranch, South Fork, Sun City Anthem, Sun City McDonald Ranch, Sun Ridge at McDonald Ranch, The Bluffs, Tuscany, and Whitney Ranch. I think that covers all the master plan communities here in the Las Vegas Valley. If I've missed any, let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned, I will do a video on what is an HOA. It's very important to know what HOAs are. Now another side note is Summerlin, believe it or not, tends to have the most reasonable HOA across the valley, compared to the valley. Um, basically, Summerlin North HOA, I do believe is still $50 a month, and Summerlin West and South HOA, they increased it to $55 a month. Now, if you do live in a gated community, you are going to have two association fees. You're going to have the sub-association, which is the gated community, and then the master association fee. Now, all the new construction that I've noticed started to charge two association fees, regardless if it's gated or not. So that's where I don't believe having two association fees is necessary, especially with these new builders. For example, if you buy in um, Sky Canyon and it's not gated, um, the builder will have an association fee on top of the Sky Canyon Master Association fee. So those are things to consider when you are buying in a master plan community, how many association fees are you going to have. Typically, they're all going to be under $200 total, which includes the sub-association and master association. Anyways, <laughs> if you're thinking about buying a home in the Las Vegas Valley, you know who to call, right? Me, Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that like button, share, comment, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.